pistol, a third year from Section Alpha of the Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering of Katz Aero College, formerly Cebu Aeronautical Technical School. Today I'm going to discuss you about this thing right beside me. So this is basically a low speed subsonic open circuit wind tunnel which serves as the capstone project for the subject Aero 311 with the descriptive title Aeronautical Laboratory 1. So in the most basic sense, a wind tunnel is a venture shaped structure that acts as the test bed for almost all aerodynamic experiments and analysis on some certain test objects. The underlying principle of a subsonic wind tunnel is that it sucks air in the inlet which is out of frame and then as the airflow travels to the compression zone, this part here, its velocity increases until it reaches the test section right here. And after the airflow has passed or flowed through the test section and on the test object, then the airflow throws through the diffuser cone, wherein the airspeed gradually decreases until it reaches the exhaust, wherein the motor drive is located that is basically the heart of the Sepsan tunnel because the motor drive is what powers the fan that it, that makes it possible for the wind tunnel to suck air in the first place. So my wind tunnel is basically 1.15 meters in length, 0 0.45 in height, meters in height, and around 0 0.50 meters in width. And the max stair speed that my wind tunnel can achieve is approximately around 9 to 11 meters per second so we head on to the inlet sections as you can see the inlet section is covered with struts that will ensure that the air passing through the inlet will be converted from turbulent flow to almost laminar flow so as you can also observe that in, the, in front of the flow straighteners, you can see a war mesh. This is to inhibit any foreign object debris that is small enough to enter the flow straighteners from entering the wind tunnel in the first place. So let's then head on to the test section. So here I have devised an ingenious lift mechanism that is designed to allow the vertical motion of any test objects attached to the lift mechanism. Attached on the bottom of the lift mechanism is an another mechanism that controls the angle of attack of the airfoil on the test section. As you can see right over here, micro servo is attached to the bottom part of the lift mechanism by means of the these connecting arms that connects the micro server and the lift mechanism. The design or the geometry of the connecting arms is like this so that the rotational motion of the micro servos can then be translated into the adjustment of the angle of the attack of the lift mechanism up to a certain angle. Located also inside the test section is a small DC motor that measures the airspeed of the airflow inside the test section. So the motor acts as a generator when it is rotated and then the voltage that is generated by the motor is compared with the airspeed by the Arduino board inside a control panel. Some LED lighting is also attached in the test section to increase the visibility of the test section. Next up, we head on to the diffuser cone where the airflow from the test section is gradually diffused and its airspeed gradually decreases too. A protective wire mesh is attached inside the diffuser cone to protect the motor drive section from any debris that might originate from the test section. Finally, a brushless DC motor is attached in the motor drive section of the wind tunnel that basically enables the wind tunnel to function in the first place. The brushless DC motor then is powered by a 
12 volt lithium polymer battery that is stored inside the control panel. On the other hand, let's head on to the control panel where all the wind tunnel controls and data is controlled and observed by the wind tunnel operator. The LCD here displays all the data obtained from the wind tunnel such as the airspeed of the flow, the angle of attack of the airfoil, and then the Reynolds number of the airflow that is passing through the test object. This is the main switch that activates the brushless DC motor on the motor drive section. This is the toggle switch that turns on the lighting inside the test section. This is the potentiometer that acts as the control knob for the angle of the attack of the lift mechanism. And lastly, this is the knob that acts as the throttle of the brushless DC motor that controls the RPM of the motor. All the controls here are all controlled by an Arduino board concealed inside a control panel which is then powered by this USB cable here that I connect to my laptop. So let's head on and watch this thing work and see how these controls on the control panel can be used in controlling the wind tunnel.
so that sums up the tour of my wind tunnel right here and i hope you've learned something from my presentation and i will see you next time